your host, the great Magus Medivh, invites you back to party down with me. Come inside, meet your friends at the door. We've got a feast like you've never seen before. Take your stuff to a musical beat. Play life size chess. chess, but don't you dare cheat. Most of all, throw your worries away. Dive right in, you'll never be the same. This is a place of funky magical phenomena. Anything goes. The first floor of Karazhan is the parlor, where Moroz will greet you and let you in early to help. The silverware has gone crazy, and some of it has glommed together into a silverware golem. Uh, uh, He's a little too enthusiastic about serving dinner. The magic mirror that Medivh set up to compliment guests has started insulting them instead. What's up? What's up? And the chess set that Medivh set out has got a mind of its own. Now, in World of Warcraft, the chess event is one of the most iconic boss fights. And actually, one of the designers who worked on that event helped design this mission for Hearthstone as well. It took a lot of work, but I'm really proud of it, so I'll show you a video, and you'll see in this video the chess pieces attack automatically at the end of the turn, and they'll strike whatever minion is directly across from them. If there's two minions directly across, it'll hit them both. Here's what it looks like in-game. So positioning is really important here. If a piece is between two enemies, enemies it will strike them, will strike them both. both. There's also a sneak peek at the new Karazhan board. So that's the first level of Karazhan where most of the party is set up. And here are some cards you'll earn for completing it. The Ivory Knight is a paladin minion with a unique take on the discover mechanic. Now, instead of choosing the best spell, you might choose something like any fin can happen if you really need a big heal. The second level of Karazhan is the world-famous opera. Barnes runs the opera, and he's super excited about tonight's event. Barnes wants to run one last rehearsal and he loves audience participation. So you'll have to help Barnes put on three great plays before he'll let you up through the tower. Act one, the great love story of Romulo and Julianne. Do you, do you bite your bite thumb, your thumb, at us? thumb at us? Ha! 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 Act two, the mysterious big bad wolf. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Run away, run away. Act three, you'll have to defeat the wicked crone with the help of Dorothy. Oh my, my! Now Dorothy will give different powers to your minions depending on which side of Dorothy you play them on. Here's what that looks like in game. So you can choose to give your minions either charge or taunt. And you want to make sure at least some of your minions get taunt, because otherwise things could go badly. If you help Barnes put on those great plays, you'll be rewarded with these cards. The kindly grandmother is a hunter card that's a little like the haunted creeper in that it's a sticky minion for hunter decks, 
that your opponent may not want to kill. Here's what the big bad wolf looks like when it's revealed. And here's another new card, the legendary minion Barnes himself. Tonight, a tale of true terror. This guy's crazy! He's basically a Yeti's worth of stats, and he summons an actor to play the role of a minion in your deck. Here's what it looks like in game. Tonight, tonight, a tale of a glorious redemption. Seems pretty good. All right, the third level of Karazhan is Medivh's prized menagerie. Creatures from all over the world are gathered and penned up here and tended to by the massive mechanical curator. Now, without Medivh, the curator's programming has gone haywire. This curator, this curator is, is sorry. Instead of keeping the creatures in their cages, he's just letting them loose. It's really just one flipped bit. You will have to reprogram the curator, and he will help you wrangle the escaped creatures so you can move up through the tower. Creatures like Nightbane. The dragon, Nightbane. The dragon Nightbane, once called Arcanagos, once called Arcanagos. uncontrolled magic, uncontrolled magic warped, his warped his mind. And this guy, the demon, the Ilhuf. demon Ilhuf. most dangerous most exhibit, dangerous exhibit. Approach, with approach with caution. If you can tidy up the menagerie with the curator's help, you'll earn his new legendary card. The menagerie is for guests only. If you thought Ancient of Lore was good, this is a 4-6 taunt that draws you three cards. Of course, you'll have to make a literal zoo deck to make use of him. The very top level of Karazhan is Medivh's private quarters. This is where Medivh opens portals to far-off lands. And the creature that helps control those portals is the fearsome dragon, Netherspite. My, exper my experiments, you are, you are disturbing the delicate, delicate balance. In World of Warcraft, portals opened all around Netherspite, and beams shot out of those portals, connecting with Netherspite and empowering him. Here's what that looks like in Hearthstone. My experiments. So those beams empower another spike, but you can play your own minions in the path of those beams to force them to empower your own minions instead. Now, Nether Spite isn't alone at the top of this tower. Every good wizard's tower needs a curmudgeonly ghost, and the shade of Iran haunts the top of Karazhan, preventing intruders from accessing Medivh's private experiments. If you can make it past Iran, you'll have to use Karazhan's portals to find Medivh and save the party. Here's a great rogue card you'll earn as a party favor. Need something unusual? The Ethereal Peddler is pretty good for the cost. It's a five, six minion, but it'll also reduce the cost of any cards you may have burgled from your opponent. So this could be the start of a brand new type of rogue deck. One pretty cool thing we're doing for this adventure is actually you'll climb up the interface from the bottom so it'll really give you the feeling of ascending the Tower of Karazhan. Here's something I'm really excited about. 
We're giving everybody a free prologue mission. Everybody will get access to this, to this for free. You'll play as the Archmage Medivh, and you'll find out what happened to him before the party. You'll also earn two free cards. Here's the first of those. So this is a druid minion, and it's also a beast. So this could be the start of a new druid beast deck. Here's the other card you'll earn in the free prologue. Firelands Portal is a mage spell that's a little reminiscent of Fire Elemental and that it has an immediate impact on the board and summons a sizable minion to come with it. Here's some in-game footage. It's like ETC was hanging out inside the portal. One night in Karazhan is 45 incredible new cards, 13 bosses across four wings, and a prologue mission. And we'll be releasing wings weekly starting in just two weeks. If you buy the entire adventure during the first week of launch, you'll earn this awesome new card back. I love it. So groovy. Guys, that is one night in Karazhan. The team has been working so hard on this adventure, and we can't wait to explore this iconic tower with you in just a couple weeks.